What is up guys? Michael Smooth Vapes here with a product review. Yes, I said product review. No more other videos. It is a review today. Um, today's review will be on the iJoy Maxo. This thing is a monster. 315 watt quad battery. Um, does temperature control. Right now all I got is yellow. I believe there's a couple different varieties of colors. But yeah, this thing is just... Whew, Man, I don't know what I would put on here as far as a build, but I'm sure I can figure something out. So, anyway, let's start off with a 360 view of this thing. So we got the nice top, the 510 connector, really nice and flush. Um, we got these slots here on the side, both sides. You have your charging port or your update port. Uh, you have your battery configuration on the bottom plate. And then you got your screen. So... First thing I'll show you, these side covers here, these little indented ports, are for graphic stickers. It comes with a variety of different graphic stickers. There's two of them. Let's get up close here. Yep. And here's two more of them. And two other ones. Look at that, it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six different configurations. So pretty much those will just sit here on the side and make the box a little bit more unique. Not bad, I guess, if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, let's get down into this thing here a little bit. We'll power her up, we'll go through the display features. And we'll talk about cons. Um, some things I don't like and some things I do like. So we'll open the battery cover on the bottom here. And let's slide some of these batteries in here. Positive. Positive. Why aren't you? There we go. Positive. Positive. Negative. Negative. And we'll pop her together here. Okay, and we see she's powering up, and we're at the home screen. So, at the home screen, you'll see you have your battery, your volt or your wattage, your ohms, and your voltage right there. So let's just go through the menu, three, and you can slide back and forth here to whatever you want. We got nickel right here at the end. Let's see if I can focus there. Titanium, stainless steel watt mode and then you have your screen rotate right there to rotate your screen and this one here lets you do power soft well let's see normal hard soft and user configuration now the user configuration is kind of cool you can uh, actually configure how you want it to ramp up how you don't want it to ramp up it's a, a neat little feature there so we'll just get out of this menu here and exit Nope. Yep. And it won't let me exit. Why won't you let me exit? There we go. We exited. So yeah, and this thing does go up to 315 watts. Now it is a little slower on the, the to take the wattage up. Um, you notice it's taking some time here. Now it will skip by tens here, but it still takes some time. There we go, 315 watts, and back down. All right, so in the box with this thing, I'm not going to go through the whole box, but in the box with this thing, it comes with your update charger or your, your charger update cord, and it comes with the packs of these along with your user's manual. Um, some cons I have with this thing so far that I noticed is back cover doesn't sit flush. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of when things sit nice and look nice. This doesn't sit flush whatsoever. But, I mean, 315 watts, this thing is a beast. Um, it's clearly labeled everywhere. The battery configurations, there's little positives, negatives in here. If you don't have the batteries in just right, it acts weird. And when you go to close this thing, you notice the battery cover wiggles. 
you have to have it nice and straight to put it on. Again, these are just subjective cons to it. Um, you know, I, I would still purchase this thing to vape on it. Like I said, 315 watts, that's pretty insane. So, um, I'll let you know what my ultimate thoughts are of it. This is kind of a first view of this thing, um, going through and just checking it out. Like I said, it's right there. You can notice if you don't have it just right, the battery cover won't close. But yeah, this is just my first views of this thing. Um, stay tuned for a follow-up video of this. I'll vape on it a little bit, let you know what I feel of it. So this is Mike with Smooth Vapes. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next review.